All right, so this is definitely not the uh, Titan XD. I'm in my mother's Lexus GX 460 with the uh, luxury package. Um, the reason why I'm here is because I wanted to talk about the um, XD's uh, sound system, how it compares to other brands. And, um, you know, to make a long story short, the XD sound system is amazing, um, especially compared to higher-end sound systems like this Lexus Mark Levinson. What is this? This thing has 19 speakers inside. Uh, I think she paid over 10 grand more for the luxury package, but you know it's got other fancy things like uh, Air Ride with a you know a bunch of stuff over here pretty fancy stuff but uh, what I'm getting at is that the uh, XD sound system is very very good and for some reason no one in the uh, online car reviewing uh, community talks about that and you know most of the time you're gonna be listening to music while you're driving so I just wanted to point that out that uh, the uh, Rockford Fosgate sound system is very, very good. Uh, I think it's even better than the uh, the Lexus Mark Levinson, you know, at least the one that they put in the uh, Lexus GX 460. All right, well let's get into XD. I want to talk about other things too. my wife's rap for all right get in here so I can talk more clear I really need to clean my truck just haven't had time. I also haven't had time to shoot any videos recently uh, because I've been so busy with work. Um, but today I got some free time. Today's Wednesday, November 23rd. Uh, tomorrow is Thanksgiving. So they gave me the whole day off today, tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So five days off. Now, what I want to talk about is, uh, first, <laughs> I haven't shot any videos, and uh, I've see, I see that people are, are really interested in the truck. Um, the first video I made about this truck has over, what, uh, over 12,000 views now. So I guess people are really interested about this truck, and that's a good thing. Um... Let's see, what else? I didn't really drive this truck much. I just left it sitting in the, uh, the driveway because uh, I've been traveling all over Texas for work. But what I wanted to show you guys is... Let me open the back seat. Is that no one talks about the, uh, the back seat of this truck, how versatile it is. Um, what I mean by that is you can you can lay it down like this both sides and you have a lot of storage over here you know uh, I put bungee cords over there in that corner um, you can also lift it up like this and it's lockable it's, it's very handy this is where I put all my tie down straps um, you know, if I was, if I didn't have tie down straps over there, I'd put something else. If I were uh, going to the gun range, I'd lock my uh, guns in here. Uh, you can even put an AR-15 in there. It's got enough room. Let me go to the other side.
All right, so pull this down. I have a emergency tire inflator kit with uh, rubber patches on here. First aid emergency kit. And I have room for more if I want to. I mean, no one talks about that on these reviews, online reviews anyway. Uh, you got plenty of room there. Now compare this to let's say a uh, my previous F-150. You couldn't even you know uh, fold the seat back down like this um, you have to do a mod in order to do that uh, it just didn't come like that in a factory uh, and the seat was so upright on the f-150s that you don't have room over here to put stuff you can only put stuff on the bottom of the seat so let me put this back up here Now I've used the uh, this feature right here to make the floor flat several times. I use it when um, I have my suitcases here in the back when uh, me and my wife are traveling, and it's really handy that way. Um, also, it's lockable. Oh, by the way, these things the uh, what do you call these things the. Uh, shopping bag hooks really really handy when you're going out shopping and uh, using this truck you know some people might argue yeah yeah this is a grocery getter I mean I really don't care what people say I'll use my truck however I want to I really don't care I, I did that with my f-150 you know I used it for everything um, like I said this is not a work truck if it is your work truck good for you that means you're doing really well in life if i had to use a truck for work i'd get a f-150 xl trim a bunch of tools um one thing though this is really handy when you guys are grocery shopping do this way do it this way you know so you can hang your shopping bags there and also it'll leave you a space here so you can put your uh, your your bread down here so it doesn't get crushed uh, you know it might seem minor but actually it's very useful you know that space over there you know you can put your eggs or your your bread you know stuff that you don't want get crushed just put it down there um other than that uh, i'm gonna take a trip another one to the casino in louisiana i'm gonna go stay in the golden nugget again because they keep on giving us free money free hotel nights and free food just to come and visit them so i'm starting to like them again but uh i'll try to keep making videos but work is really taking up a lot of my time. So, so far I've had no problems with this truck after I've taken care of the, uh, the minor things like the dome light, the uh, tailgate trim, and the uh, transmission. It's been pretty solid so far. Um, still liking the, the uh, Nerf, bo Nerf bars. Or uh, side steps, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I did notice that they do collect a lot of mud, so just FYI. I, I mean, I really don't care. Uh, I keep my trucks pretty dirty anyway. Um, what else? Oh, def. Uh, the def liquid for this truck. I added, I think, close to five gallons. Um, I think this truck uses about 2.5 gallons of DEF for every thousand miles. So that's not too bad. I buy my DEF from Walmart, actually. I buy the, uh, what do you call that? The Walmart brand one. And it's only $7.88 for a 
for a jug. Well, that's not too bad. Uh, let's see. I've just been trying out the uh, the seat warmers for this truck. And uh, the seat warmers for this truck, even on high, it's not as good as my F-150's seat warmer. Uh, the one on the F-150, that one gets really hot and toasty in no time. This one, even on high, it doesn't really get hot. I think I had a, a YouTube uh, comment stating that. So, uh, yeah, I will have to agree with him. The seat warmers on this truck, uh, it's not as good as the F-150s. Uh, what else? Yeah, uh, other than that, I'm shopping for a uh, tonneau cover for this truck. Um, I had a uh, undercover, what is it, an undercover solid tonneau cover for my F-150 when I had it, um, and that one was waterproof, and as far as security goes, that was, that was top notch. Uh, I was traveling to New Mexico on the way to uh, the Grand Canyon with that truck and I don't know if you guys know New Mexico, but The crime rate in that area at least to the parts where I went to to stay overnight It's pretty high. There's a there's a lot of homeless people and You know, they just don't want to stay in those areas um, So I'm shopping for a tonneau cover. I'm looking at the uh, revolver revolver x2 and the uh, solid fold 2.0 from X thing, so I still need to make up my mind. Um, let's see what else. Um, uh, wish my truck had a sunroof. All right, other than that, that's it.